So Valkyria Chronicles is a really pretty strategy RPG that's set in like fantasy version of World War II. Like a combination of World War I and World War II. Not really. Got this kind of cool, almost watercolor style. And it's got some really neat game mechanics. We were in the middle of a skirmish when we saved last. So hopefully we can figure out what it was we were doing. I think what we were doing was trying to defeat the enemy. <laughs> All right, he's out of ammo. He's not, but he's got nothing else to do. I need to repair the treads on this thing. I'll probably kill that tank with this tank. Yeah. Mostly World War II. There's some World War One stuff. In it. Kaboom. So some really cool mechanics in this with how you control your units and the like. Try moving her forward so she can help out a little bit more. Kaboom! Splish. <laughs> Best minigame ever. Battleship minigame. Guy might count as hiding. In fact, he is. Just look if I can hit him. I can try throwing a grenade at him. A shock trooper, though. Yeah, that's not quite gonna make it. If I keep running forward, maybe, but Alicia's probably gonna die because I got too close to this guy. Um, what else could I do? No, it doesn't make any difference. Let me just heal, and then we'll end our turn. Hopefully, she'll survive in between here. He comes out of cover, she'll get some good shots off on him. She could run forward and then try to shoot him in the head. And she healed there. Eh, let's just try that. I'm not going to use my CP for anything else. You, sir. There you go. Not going to kill him, but it'll knock him out of cover. Almost killed him. Now maybe on his turn she can finish him off. Although the tank might shoot her too. It's okay, she doesn't die permanently. She's one of our core characters. Those snipers could shoot her too. In fact, they're almost certainly going to do that. Ouch. We'll send somebody to pick her up. Calling a medivac. Ooh, even under cover, they don't do that again. I think the units in, are less limited in the number of times they can use the same unit. Ah, shit. He we definitely need to pick up. Yeah. We got a little unlucky with Alicia, I think. Okay, we can take hits like that. The intent is to send our Lancer around the back to try to shoot that tank. See if we can. First things first, let's uh, let's pick up our dead buddies. Let's at least pick up Vyze, since Alicia's gonna be fine. Bad accuracy, but if they hit, it hits really hard. Makes sense. Go try finishing off that shock trooper. Disarm the mine, because that's something we do. Can I kill him from here? Uh, not effectively, unless I get a headshot. There we go, look at that. Perfect. Let's see if we can get her into the trench after picking up Alicia. Ah, not quite. To send another point for it, or I can send her back to the um, the tank. She can probably make that if I just turn right around. Don't you worry. And we'll try repairing the tank. And then I can summon them back into the closer uh, base in case we take more turns to finish this mission. All right, perfect. Let's repair the tank. Just a little bit, doesn't really need a lot. 
May as well use her turn for something good. And then, let's do... Let's move the tank forward a little bit. And let's shoot that tank. Hopefully I'll be able to get some machine gun shots off on the shock trooper. We'll see how far I can take Yawn forward, my new favorite character. Come on, buddy. There you go. Probably not very. Hit, please. Oh, man. Lancer's in their accuracy in this game. And he's out of ammo now. I can try to move him forward again so he can kill it on his next turn. Sure. And hopefully be out of range of the snipers if we can get behind this cover. Just barely not. Because I can spend one more point to get him into cover. <laughs> there we go. Now, what else can I do? These folks are just going to chill, I think. I guess I could deploy some more people here, but I think it's going to be this group that finishes us out. Um, I think I'll just end with the CP that I have now. Get a third sniper, good god. I want to be able to get a... Ooh, she's probably going to go down. Lost her uh, cover from being behind the tank, unfortunately. Nice duck. We won't be so lucky as to have her duck again, will we? No, it's okay. We'll send somebody to pick her up. Call in another engineer to take care of our tank. This game is quite forgiving when it comes to um, like squad mate deaths. Appreciate that a lot of SRPGs are not. So we're we'll be playing Valkyria Chronicles until about 4:30 Pacific, and then we're switching to. Earthbound Beginnings, 436. Valkyria will be back next week. Same time, same bat time, same bat channel. Alright, so I could send out a Shock Trooper. Probably take out all these guys pretty easily. A bit of a run to get there, though. Probably my best bet, I think. Send in Vise, bring him back. Let's try to finish off this tank here. Get real close. You got one shot, man. Don't screw it up. There you go. <laughs> I love his voice. Extra shot. Gets another shot. Oh, now that he doesn't need it, now he gets another shot. Alright, let's go hide. Okay. Let's send our tank forward. Kill this uh, shock trooper. Kaboom! And for a kill, very nice. Yeah, I agree, Earthbound is amazing. Earthbound Beginnings hasn't aged quite as well, in all honesty, but it's still a really good game. It's good to play if you've ever played Earthbound before to kind of get some of the context for the decisions they made in Earthbound and its visual style. Earthbound is the first ever nostalgic game, I would say. It's designed to look like Mother 1 or Earthbound 0, as you might know it, on beginnings. Probably gonna end up sending um, Yawn in to take the base here next turn. Boom! Man down, everybody be 
go. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for this turn. Unless, can I run him all the way across? His range is really sucky, but if I just keep using all my CP until I get to the flag, it might be worth the extra rank we can we'll get out of it. We'll try. Is there a order that I can get eventually that like restores a unit's movement meter? I think he's gonna might just come up just short. I don't know if there's a minimum amount of uh, movement he can get per turn. Oh, yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. That sucks. So close. They're gonna try to shoot him now, so I should probably have my tank take out two of them. The rest of the turn's not going to be as useful otherwise. Oh, I, I have limited uh, mortar. Didn't realize that. Alright, well. Makes sense. Too bad I can't shoot through them. Take one of them out at least. see what happens on their turn. They might bring in some reinforcements too. Hopefully my uh, Lancer survives. Only able to be used by enemies, sure. Yeah, so they got all that CP to shoot at my Lancer a whole bunch of times here. Ouch. Can't take too many of those. Hopefully that's all they do. Nope, we're, he's totally dead. Sorry, Jan. <laughs> just, resting. just resting. Yeah, it is kind of similar to Borderlands. I can hear that. I think we have to rely on him making it all the way across. You can't capture a camp with a tank, right? Assume. My Lancer couldn't make it across. I don't think he's going to have a very good chance. Probably try to take him as far as he can go. Your tank can pick up people. I think there's going to be a, another turn late. Yeah. Take him as far as I can get him with all my CP that I'm sitting on. Leave it all to me. Once he's about empty, he almost has nothing he can do. <laughs> Yeehaw, indeed. Yeah, I'm not going to waste the tank's turn, though. See how far forward we can get. Got a lot of CP left. Damn, I'll buy the shots to do it too. I don't think I can make it... Well, I'm definitely not going to make it to the flag. I can maybe get in there for when another uh, thing spawns. Let me go pick up... ...him. Just for the next turn. Hopefully you can cross this. Yeah, good. Let's go ahead and move into their base. <laughs> No, Occupy. Makes sense, but just get out of your tank, uh, Welkin. Alright. We'll get a D-ranking on this one, that's okay. If we had had a slightly faster unit, or if our engineer hadn't been heading out in the open. I should have moved my tank first and then moved my engineer. That way my engineer could have hid back behind it. But lesson learned. Nice duck. Fortunately, uh, the AI is not very good at getting headshots, and that can happen. My engineer? Yeah. 
for sure. All right, Vise, it's on you, buddy. Leave it all to me. Huzzah. And let's get back to the story. I don't think we need the money or the XP at the moment. Might level up somebody to 11 if it lets us. Let's go to the headquarters. Ah, I see, they never try to aim for them. That's a pretty big advantage in the side of the player then. Greatly reduces the value of enemy uh, snipers. Um, just a little short. That's okay, we'll do the next story mission, then we'll get to Scout 11, then we'll do Shock Trooper 11. Let's keep going. Let make sure this is right. Should be, right? Nothing else we need to investigate here. I think a beginner skirmish who cleared out. I can do that level one skirmish really fast. That takes just a few minutes. Given orders for our next mission. Thousands, that big industrial city with... Yes. If we manage to reclaim it, It'll be a shot in the arm to Galia's productivity. Sounds good. So what's the plan, boss? The militia will break up into squads. I can go ahead and do that after this story cutscene. I'll do that first beginner skirmish and run through it with a scout. Once that's set, Squad 7 takes the point. Here, look at this. Oh man, train mission. Right. Love fantasy trains. Defend their hold on the city. Now our mission is to destroy it. Yeah, something like that, Mega Man. It's really fast. Yeah, okay, so we destroy it. Any idea We might have good enough armor now too that a scout could run through it without having a serious chance of getting killed. We're smart about it. Don't worry. We've got some hefty support on this one. Hey Ben. Support? Like who? You know that Darksons from entire held areas have been brought there, right? Uh oh. I've heard stories, yes. That they're being used as forced labor in the Ragnarok. The Darksons kind of factories. are a stand in for the Jews and the Romani people in World War II. According to Captain Barat, one of the men in the Ragnite is like a magical resource that's a stand in for um, all of the resources in World War II. Here I get my hopes up, and it's just some dark hair. This is a cool idea. I like this historical fantasy concept. You don't see this a lot. It's very clearly inspired by an actual historical event, but it's in this alternate fantasy universe. What do you mean by that? Hmm. I'm just saying, I hope this guy's not as stubborn as someone else we know. Please stop judging people solely by your preconceptions. All Darksons are different. Sure could have fooled me. I couldn't tell you dark hair's a part if I tried. I don't believe you have ever really tried, Rosie. Ooh. No, you just didn't. <laughs> just drop it already. We're soldiers. We'll do our best out there. If the orders say work with the Darkson, we do. There you go, Largo. That said, I ain't making any promises that this guy turns out to be useless. Here. Well, we can't know for sure until we meet him, but the mission hinges on him. We begin the march on Thousand at first light. The attack begins at sundown. Alright, let's do this quick skirmish. Get some extra XP since we're super close to leveling up, right? Here. Do you think Alicia could even run in without me using any other units for anything? Skirmishes are these like repeatable missions so that there's not a finite amount of XP in the game. It's kind of nice actually. A lot of games like this do put in a finite amount. Actually, I could probably put Rosie and Largo in there at the minimum. And then send in my other guys here. Largo here.
Now, let's begin the well, yeah, I'd bring in the CP, of course, but... Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia! Squad 7, move out! Yeah, let's do it. It's the plan. Alright. So I'm gonna send my shock troopers out to kill their shock troopers. The scout shouldn't be that big of a threat, I think. Get ready to die, Ace. Nice. The other one can ignore the Lancer. Round two. Get ready to die, Imps. It's a good thing they're not hiding die, behind cover. This guy is behind cover, but we might still be able to kill him with the power of our current gun. Yep, easy mode. Hey Dehan, this is Valkyria Chronicles. Really cool game, I think. He's a walking tank. Got him. And we'll just send Alicia Next. in, throw out a defensive order. I think she could make the run the rest of the way there. It's just all easy enemies. Okay. Oh, that's right, I gotta do the order first. That's okay, she should be fine most of the way there. I'll have her kill one of the scouts when she gets close. Cover still makes you immune to um, headshots, which can make a big difference. I don't think we really need the defense order for this. Alright, shoot this guy in the face. Hey, buddy. Chunk. Yep. All right, that's some extra XP. Operation complete. We took their base. This is I'm playing it on PC, but it's also on PS3. Is there a PS4 version as well? Or is PS4 totally like backwards compatible? Well, that doesn't really give a lot of XP, does it? Not enough to get the thing anyway. That's okay. We'll we'll do it after the next story mission. Um, we can go check out that audience hall thing I mentioned, though. PS4 is not backwards compatible. It's too bad. Lieutenant Welkin Duncan, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. I am playing it with an Xbox controller, though. That's why you see those buttons on the screen. You sometimes do things for us, I think. Maybe. Don't think they actually give us XP or anything like that, but... Yeah. It's cool. We'll just go to the next mission. It's pretty soon. Pay by the hour? Really? Huh. The stench is unbearable. Please, some food, sir. Even water would... Uh, keep your distance. Presumptuous, dark-haired. Filthy. Where is the one responsible for this hovel? You rang? I hear a worker in Sector D has been disobeying his work orders. Would you care to explain this infraction? 
He's not disobeying you. He's been sick as a dog for a couple of days now. Folks from other camps working D sector have gotten sick lately too. One's in a coma. Hmm. That's where they handle Ragnite refinery. Sure the toxic exhaust's being handled right? Hmm. That's no concern of yours or mine. I do not like the idea of renting a game hourly. I would feel compelled to play it constantly for the entire hour I have it rented. Rather just pay a flat fee to have access to it. Let's think of it this way. You drive them to death and the work stops getting done. That doesn't help you much, eh? Or like, I'd even do a Netflix style subscription where you pay for some service that lets you stream PS3 games whenever you want. Hmm. I'll let you know as soon as he can work. Think you could let him rest for now? <laughs> Very well. Have him return to work the minute he's able. And remember, no one would miss the likes of a few of you maggots. I guess that's closer to like the uh, blockbuster model back in the day. Not entirely crazy. Here is your mission brief. Empire's defenses will like be spread across both banks of the river. You'll strike from the south and muscle your way into the foes as quickly as you can. Built along a canyon, so the lay of the land is highly varied. Check your map carefully in command mode. Your objective is simply for you to reach the destination point. I don't even have to capture the camp, I just have to get there. Darkness will be your best friend out there, but it will also be limited visibility to keep your eyes peeled. Welkin has to reach the destination. Okay, so I don't get a tank in this mission. Or No, I guess I do. Huh, okay. Put our scouts in the back. Put our slow characters in the front. Let's take Rosie and Margo. Let's go ahead and take Marina. She's useful early on. Well, no, let's keep her spot reserved. Well, no, I guess I will take her. I'll just turn her back around. Um, I want to bring Nadine. She's good. Bring Baez. And let's bring one more scout. Wavy's pretty good. And one more NG. Change folks out if we need to. Questions? Let's get started. I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Eric <laughs> Kumba. <laughs> he was kind of nice in that cutscene where he let us go after we Our spared the soldier. To get to the rendezvous point. Hey Marco, it's Earthbound seven. Beginnings we're after out. this one. This weekend we're doing a special Halloween only blind stream of uh, Amnesia, me and my wife. Which I can't say I'm terribly excited for. <laughs> uh, then next week's going to be a combination of Final Fantasy X. Um, Metroid Prime 3, Zelda Wind Waker until we beat it, and then Phantom Hourglass. Uh, Legend of Ligaia, Mario Maker, Smash Brothers, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, this Mass Effect, Here's Bob Beginnings. Let's move carefully here. We don't want to be spotted. Okay. Let's send Alicia. Well, let's actually send Wavy forward. Still like Alicia, but I think my character should be alive too. The ones that give me extra CP. He goes down. It's something in the world. Lieutenant Gunther, you may be able to move unseen using the trolley cars around town. Their path is fixed, and they can only fit one person. But they may get you behind the enemy. It's pretty cool. Have you sighted them yet? Don't look down. You'll only panic. Don't look down. Cool. I do like the trolley car thing. That's pretty neat. Nice. Your orders, sir. That's pretty cool. There's another one down there. Can I ride the trolley car again? It just takes me back to where I was. I think this is where I just was. Check the map. This totally was. Okay. Let's 
Might not be a bad spot to hang out, kill that shock trip. here. Maybe we'll use him again to try to kill that shock trooper. That's gonna be rough. If you hit him with the grenade, but I think this is more likely to get a kill off. Ah, too bad. 11 hit points. Let's send Alicia forward. We can both be chilling here. I think we can get around from there. Shock trooper. Oh, when it moves, it moves permanently. Okay, that's good to know. Makes sense. Got him. Go keep an eye out for uh, mines. Send my engineer to take care of. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Let's kill this one. Soil. All right. Hmm. Oof, indeed. There's our almost dead shock trooper. Might use one more turn with her to kill that guy. This spot's safe-ish. Should be able to just body shot him from back here. Start moving them forward though, that could also be productive. Could bring the car back so that our sniper can get over here. I don't know if she's gonna be able to see anybody, but Better than her being at the base. I'm on my way. Yeah, let me use Wavy to kill this guy. Okay, dead. Hopefully we can get him back to the car. We can probably send him back and retreat if we can make it to the base. Might be need to be next turn though. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna quite make it. It's okay. My own tank will knock him out of the way. Right, you go ride the car, or get ready to ride the car. I guess we can do it this turn. Start moving the tank forward. Here we go. Try not to knock anybody over on my way. Probably gonna knock her over, aren't I? Head toward the objective. All right, that's a small victory. <laughs> Don't think there's anything worthwhile for me to shoot here, so I'm not gonna bother. No reason we're gonna keep sending it forward either. I might just save my CP, but I guess if I'm gonna move people, I should do it now, huh? I need to get Welkin to that yellow spot, it sounds like. That's a bit of a, a, bit of a walk. Yeah, let's, well, only one person can go through at a time. If it's going to be anybody, it should probably be our sniper. It's our slowest character. Send Nadine out. Try sending her a bit ahead of the tank. Let's use, let's conserve our CP for the next turn, see what the enemy does. Maybe they'll give us more spaces we can see. Ah, oh, they've got a tank. They have a cave troll. Okay, so that's an enemy that our sniper can probably get to, taking the rail system, I would hope. 
since uh, Alicia was able to spot them. Alright, sniper. More sniping. Pretty cool mechanic, I'll say. Watch your back out there. Body shots not killed. Headshot is. Nice. And they lose a CP. Beautiful. Who else is out there? There's another one down there, isn't there? Uh, might be behind the building though. Let's see. I want to keep her out here though. This might be a great sniper nest going forward. New prey sighted. And another sniper. Excellent. Personal. Sweet dreams. Could see sending an engineer to be up here with her. We're moving her one more space forward. Maybe we can get this other enemy that's up around the corner. Nice. Three for three. Marina, good work. You're doing well. Just keep it up. That's what we like to see. And there's another sniper down there, but she's out of ammo. That sniper will probably be able to see us, would be my guess. I think I want to send Dallas to restock. I've got to go all the way around. Actually, I don't think I have a way to get up there now that the card is there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I would like to send Largo forward. If I could recall the cart, that would be cool, but I don't think I can. Gotta actually be there. Yeah, cannot recall it. I could, move, I could, on her next turn, move her back. Like, I could have her take out that last sniper and then just say, okay, she's done. And send her back to bring the cart back for Largo. Let me go with that plan. And he can be ready to go right here. Let's send Alicia forward to see what other enemies there are out here. Smell of fresh soil. Now. Nice. Okay, we don't need to move our user sniper for that then. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Enemy unit spotted. Another sniper, I assume. Try to conserve ammunition when you can. Yes, use her to kill that one. She should be able to from down here, I think. Out. I think there's going to be another tank coming up here soon, too. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Going pretty well. Let's not let this... Uh, I think there's a yeah, searchlight comes by here, so chill here for a sec. Before we run forward and try to spot some more enemies. Don't give them an opportunity to attack. I thought it came closer. That's the one that comes closer. Wait on it to pass. To Just chilling. Proceed with caution. Enemy sighted. There's the tank. I don't think there's anything else over here. It's a way to get up to where the sniper is, I guess. Probably need to move her one more time so she's not getting killed by that uh, tank on the next turn, right? Well, in the meantime, let's move the tank forward. Not particularly. <laughs> Tanks are immune to mortar fire, that makes sense. Alert! Alert! You're on enemy turf! Is it a horrible strategy to try to, like, trigger a mortar fire on top of an enemy? Or are they immune to their own mortars? I think we need to move it forward again. 
we're gonna get it there in a timely fashion. Not a lot of CP on a second move, but better than nothing. They're immune to their own mortars, okay, good now. You can go forward, try to hit some of the mines that are out there. You're saying that if my tank is moving through there at the end, it's definitely going to trigger a searchlight, but it'll be okay. Move her forward again. Oh, I can't. So she might get spotted here, we'll see. See if we can get her back. I don't think there's anyone else she can shoot right now. I don't think she's quite gonna make it. Maybe two CP. Sure. You want everybody else in front of the tank, in other words. Searchlights aren't moving during the enemy phase. Makes sense. Don't want my own tank to land in that, you know? Alright, and then let's send... Edelweiss forward. I might not end up, to end up using Largo. I don't know if it's going to matter. Probably shoot his tank from back here, huh? That would be great. I don't think it's going to count, though. Just shoot him. Expose down the bridge. Try to keep my butt away from him. Just use the rest of my CP to shoot his tank a bunch of times. I guess I could have used uh, Largo for that too. Here we go. Now I know. Now. Ah, I hit the treads. Shit. I'll be able to destroy it then. Here we go. I'll get it next turn. We gotta move him that way anyway. I don't think he's a, really gonna hurt my own tank very much. I'll pass the turn. It's almost like I want to have all scouts because most of my units just are too slow to get across the map. Check brush and grass. For like aces, I guess. Tank. Here we go. Ah, gotta love nature. Please keep up formation as you flank them. Oh, you can use the big tank to destroy human tanks safely. That's good to know. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Moving out. Mm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Yeah, it didn't count. But it was worth checking. Enemy sighted. Enemy units spotted. 
48. Alright, well, grenade time then. Just stay calm and get it done. Now! I don't worry about it too much. I haven't been super excited about those items so far anyway. As we've already mentioned. Oh, she only has the longer name, that's right. Let's put that in, let's try sending her in to kill these guys. Ow. Nope, they both count as having cover. Okay. This doesn't count as cover, that's fine. Could have sh shot and killed the uh, Lancer, but that's alright. Kill them over here. At least knock the one guy out. We can hit them both. Now they have anti mortar armor. We can knock them out of cover at least. Okay. And now let's send the engineer over as well. Maybe she can kill a couple of them. My tank's in trouble. On my way. For my friend. Oh, come on. Seventeen. Well, now my tank's in trouble. <laughs> save our CP for the next turn. Reinforcements. Yeah, I didn't think so. I checked most of the spots on the way here. And they didn't pop up behind me when my tank was further back by the bridge. That's okay. So your points list, you vote on the next game we're going to play on stream. If you type, uh... Here, I'll... Click on that link, you can see some of the games you can vote for. Hey, Knight, thanks for the host. Appreciate that. At least you can go in and kill the scout, probably. Let's chill there for now. my friend. Oh, they both died. Ha. Huh. Okay, that works too. Didn't realize that. Let's see if we can spot any more folks over here. Climb up on this thing. This took me pretty far. 
now I'm behind them, so. Yeah, sure, Dan. Come on, there you go, Alicia. The other guy. Very few consequences. What other enemies does she see? Another tank. Another lancer. Might be able to kill him too. We'll try. This would be an easy place to send a lancer to to take out the tank, but probably end up using the CP to move anyway. Alicia's the best. <laughs> Buddy. I'm gonna take out these lancers first and foremost, right? Nice. And we'll kill the sniper. And they all had CP. Send my engineer forward to disable that mine. Please hit. Please hit. Yeah, no kidding. I'd be pretty unhappy if that didn't hit. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Can't do anything about that tank. No, it's Enemy Alicia. Oh, what's up, buddy? An elite. Nice. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Exactly. All right, let's start moving the tank forward. I might just roll over the. Uh... Yeah, it might just be safest to roll over the tank mine that's on the bridge. I guess I could like land on it without moving off of it. As long as I'm on it, it doesn't blow. She can get behind it and hit it. I think. Treads a little bit. We've had worse. Alright, we'll pass the turn. Got this. Use all our CP to move the tank forward next round. All of four CP for the poor enemies. We get two tank shots, yeah. Minor damage sustained. That seems fine. Minor fire. All right, Welkies, you got this, buddy. You gotta take out that tank, and then you gotta get to the exit. Entering combat. I'm gonna use voice my CP, moving up right in front of it. Unfortunately. Here we go. Hopefully, we have enough to get to the objective without wasting another turn. I think that can hit where Alicia is. I think she's safe. Fingers crossed. Does he need to blow the door? I think he just needs to land on it. I think we can get there. Be rough, but... All right, GG. Not bad. I think that was at least a C performance. Probably not a D. If I knew the layout a little bit better. Hey, it was a B. Pretty good, actually. If I had known the layout of the map, I probably could have used the units a lot less wastefully. But yeah, it, it's just sucky sometimes how uh, shitty the movement speed is for any of the non-scout and engineer units. Like, they have to spend a lot of points to get across. Let's do some things. We're playing 
Valkyria Chronicles for another 35 minutes before we switch to Earthbound Beginnings. Excuse me. I'll do what I want, Darkstar. In honor of your man but what I want is to go level up the troops. I was planning on it. Furthermore. Royal reward. Oh, cool! You get stuff into this. Cool, and we got Lancer thingy. Try to go equip some of those too. Hi, Ben. Cat hype. Try to move him away from the microphone. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots. Train all you. Fight the bullet! Oh, interesting. Okay. Good work, maggots. You're one level close. That makes sense. Like the new potential out of the shock troopers. Hey, Ben. Hey, plus scouts. Congratulations. That means clearance for rifle grenades. Rifle grenades. They have like grenade launchers now. I got no use for tear. Hi, Ben. Good work, man. All right, do one more. They've got two to go until level eleven. Fight the bullet. No pain, no gain. Hey, delirium. How you doing, man? Good seeing you again. Sweat. Hmm. A real life friend. Okay, uh, let's see what we got at their R&D facility. Welkin, bro. You played this game before, Delirium? I don't care about any of those right now. I'll take that. That's what everyone's using anyway. Fine. Yeah, accuracy boost all day, please. Now, is that a different? It is a different gun. Okay. Yeah. Ah, it's pretty neat. The RPG equivalent of Team Fortress 2. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It's SRPG, you put a team together with different classes. I like it a lot. I think it's, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the SRPG genre, but uh, I make an exception for this game so far. It's well made. I'm actually going to equip that. Okay. Just to have an extra. I've got the money for it. Right, let's even get to another battle here. Although, actually, let me equip some of those, um, go back to the headquarters real quick. I'm going to equip some of those new weapons I got before I forget. I got several of them. Change equipment. All right. You don't care, Alicia. Let's go with the... Oh, she already gets the upgraded. Okay, that's good to know. Right, Rosie, how about you? Cargo. Probably get this. Better range, mildly worse. Yeah, I'll take it. Same deal. Take the range. It's always been their problem. I think Hector was our other really good one. Oh, that's just a flat upgrade. Oh, but the aim is worse. Do I want to take it if the aim is worse? I don't think I do. I think that the... The aim is more important. I want to make sure that when I shoot with the sniper rifle that I get a headshot. Even though it does... Got better range. 
a little bit more damage. The armor is probably never going to apply. Alright, move on with that. It's fine for me. Okay. Looks like there's another mission in after a couple more cutscenes. We're gonna meet. What the hell is this? Concentration camp. Hey. Zaka. What brings you folks here? And how'd you get in? Welkin Gunther is my name. I was told there was a militia sympathizer here. Well, you heard right. <laughs> Welkin, I'm your guy. I'm Zaka. It's nice to meet you. Hey, Pumpkin. I've got to talk some adult stuff with these folks. Would you be a good girl and go to bed for me? <sighs> okay. Good night. She's sweet. Is she your kid's sister? No. Both her parents died a while back. They were victims of torture. Torture? That's just horrible. Listen, we have a lot of work to do. Follow me, let's get started. All right. As you can see, Thousand's factories are located on the canyon. Oh, thousand, edge, okay. Split between an upper and lower level. There's an armored train that services those factories. It moves on rails built into the upper level, shooting downward. If it's up there, it's completely out of our range. How do we attack it? Glad you asked. We take it down with this little... We're window. past, like, the 60% mark, I think. I made it myself. There's 18 main story missions. From under the Empire's watch for weeks. I am a fan of Doctor Who, Marco. You think one bomb's gonna blow this thing up? I'm not proposing we use it on the train. We use it on this. I get it. Big timey wimey. We take out the rails, then the train drops into the canyon from the bridge. Exactly. Right, Mega Man. You can leave the setting of the bomb to me. I want all of you to provide a diversion so I can get in there and attach the package to a strut. Once I've wired it and gotten a safe distance away, I'll give you a signal. Then you'll detonate it and destroy the bridge. Right. Sounds good. Just a reminder that you guys can use your sphere points to earn by being in chat. And for following, to vote on the next game we're going to play, click on that link, vote.marsted.com, to look at the spreadsheet. Type the command for the game you want to see. No, I got put in your vote. Is there something else? Example, exclamation point, game 01 votes for Dark Souls on stream, and so on. Oh, I get it now. You're wondering if you can trust me because I'm a Darkson, yeah? <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, tell me something you like. What? Something you enjoy. There's got to be something, right? Saka's so clever. Um, singing, I guess. I like to sing and listen to other folks. Right, Spiky. Musician, huh? I think this is kind of the rule, like... I like to sing, too. People who are that prejudiced against nice others usually just haven't met someone, you know, from that social group. They create this sense in their mind of the other. Music can pick you up or make you cry. Anthems can drive a whole country to war. That's the great thing about music. Variety. Every song is different. Yeah, of course, Marco. Good. Yeah, I guess so. So what are you getting at? If you appreciate diversity in music, why hate all the Darksons? What? There's plenty of races in the world. Each has its traits, but people are all unique. Just like with music. They've all got their good points. Well, I think so, anyway. <laughs> Singing's more fun with a chorus, right? I agree, Zaka. Hmm. There are over 30,000 kinds of beetles in the world. Ah, uh, Delirium, check that spreadsheet, and it says uh, Command on the left. So, like, if it says, you know, Game 02 for Command next to Phoenix Wright, put an exclamation point Game 02, and it'll trigger a vote. You can check how many sphere points you have with exclamation point SP. 
the points you spend for it. It's the same and it's uh, 60 per vote. A little bit of a discount for subscribers uh, on Patreon. Another one of the boss's nature talks. Beetles. <laughs> nice. Wow, that's a new one. I never heard a man compare people to bugs in a good way before. I'd have to agree, though. Bickering won't do us any good. Let's try to make nice. Hmm. Yeah, once you get okay. a bunch of serpents. The operation begins tomorrow at dawn. Excited for this next combat. I like train-related missions. Let's hit both of those. True face of war, and then we've got the mission proper. Mm -hmm. Hey, why the long face? Oh, Mr. Zaka, I just can't believe it. Believe what? I'd heard stories of the concentration camps, but seeing it happen in person, I... It just seems too cruel to be true. Yeah. I think they scaled it back this a little bit truth. from reality. I... The world is no friend of the Darksons. That's the truth of it. Yeah, I took care of that, Mega Man. Thank you. This war has stirred up prejudice in people. I can sympathize with wanting to look away, but facing the truth makes a person grow. Mr. Zaka. And hey, we're still young. Let's enjoy life. It's up to us to change other folks' minds. I want this guy to join my party. You're right. As long as we don't stop breaching. Well, I guess Sara doesn't count as a unit. Come when others will accept us. Right oh. But for now, it's late. Wait, his other eye is fine? I'm sure you get some rest. <laughs> I will. I thought he needed to wear like an eye patch or something. Alright, mission time. Let's save. This could be a little tricky since we don't know what we're getting into. Heck yeah! Here are details on the current operation. 23 minutes. Even sooner. Time has come to take out the Empire's thousand defenses. Your squad will advance north from an entry point at the south end of the city. Extract them to put up a fight along the or expect them to put up a fight along the way. You'll have to pace yourself and look out for your injured. Your objective is the destruction of that iron rail bridge. Take down the armored train atop it. Our operative will plant an explosive on the bridge's central support pillar. That's your final destination. Move a foot unit into position to have them detonate the device with a gunshot. Direct attacks against that train won't accomplish much. Focus your attention on that bomb. Keep position in mind with your troops here. I'll probably have to use my tank to hide units. That end would make sense for me to bring extra scouts. I need to bring Rosie and Largo, no matter what, for their bonus. We want to bring Nadine to repair the tank. Although I'm going to put her further back because she can walk more easily. Had good experience with Marina lately since we got our new uh, sniper rifle. I guess the rest of them could be either engineers. Let's do Dallas. Oops. Yeah, Dallas and. Uh, Dallas and one more scout. Let's bring uh, Wavy. He's good. I'm happy with that. Let's go. We're prepared to commence the operation. Wouldn't it be nice if the sniper could just move forward and, like, snipe the bomb from all the way back here? Our job Probably is isn't that, that easy, is it? Set. Squad 7, move out! Alright. Do I move the tank forward first? I'm probably gonna move one of my scouts forward first, actually. Well, there is a... Hey, you think you could do me a favor? Take the northwest bridge down first. Doing that will block enemy reinforcements and give me a chance to wire up the rail bridge. Okay. Okay, got it. I'll do that if you get the bomb ready to go. Leave it to me. All right, let's move out. Cut cool. The enemy and so technically, he's with us. Oh, great. Mortar right at the beginning, huh? Where is the mortar? It's a bit of a walk. Make sure bridge. Lay of the land here. Yes, yeah, so we got a bit of ground to cover to get to that thing. Mike could send people around here to take this camp. I don't know if it's actually worth it. 
Mm, let's send the tank forward. We're gonna have to do that no matter what. We gotta get everyone out of the mortar range. Hostile sighted. And get my tank range too. Elite Lancer, huh? Shoot. Not so great. All are showing his elites, aren't they? This is pretty scary. Lots of stuff going on in this one. Okay, killed the trooper. We're moving forward one more set. Try to send the engineer forward to kill the mines, though. We gotta get them all out of the base. If we can't find the actual source of the mortar. Can I not disable? Oh, I thought I could get to it. Oh, there we go. Start getting these guys out of here, yeah. Probably use her to kill that elite lancer. Hopefully. Nope, that's not what we wanted. We wanted the lancer. See him from here? Oh, barely, barely missing. Try to get these guys while we're here, so we're not wasting the turn. Nice headshot. Sweet dreams. Okay, makes sense, Dark Star. So it's not like they get a bunch of extra health or anything like that, but they have access to those weapons and that kind of thing. Makes sense. Yeah, he's still kind of behind something, isn't he? Might get him. That's yeah, rough. His head is just out of my range. I don't think I can see it at all. Anyone else I can see? Yeah, he's got cover. This guy may actually have cover, I can't tell. That's cool. I think she'll be safe next turn. We'll finish getting these guys out. Yep. Nope. Not retreating. Standing. Slightly higher stats. Okay, sure. Don't think I'm going to be able to hit it from here, but... I'm not going to use his turn for anything else. Yeah, it looks like he hit the edge of the railing, actually. That's sucky. Oh well. Can't all be winners. Right away. Get her out. Try to send her as far along forward as we can. Let's restock our sniper. It look like conventional attacks will harm it. Probably can't reach him at all now. Cool. Move our tank forward. Entering combat. Minor damage sustained. Oh, I thought I'd disarm the other mine. Oh well. That one I can't shoot at all. Can't get there. Probably can't get to this Lancer, but I can at least defend my back. Let's start sending these guys forward. Rosie's probably just gonna chill at this base, and I don't know what else she would do. I could send Alicia up here and see what she can do. She can go that way. Maybe she can't. No, she can't. Okay. We'll just send her across the bridge then. Hopefully they don't tear into us on this bridge next turn. About to find out, I guess, right? Alright, see what they do on their turn. Playing Valkyria Chronicles for another 15 minutes before we take a short break and then switch to Earthbound Beginnings. Listen well. I want every galleon that's fool enough to enter firing range mowed down. 
Show these foul hands the technological superiority of the Imperial forces. That could be bad. Shouldn't have the range to hit us from all the way back there, right? About to be very sad if they do. <laughs> okay, good. Didn't think so. Could still be snipers out here somewhere. Ah, I see. That's the mortar. Ow. I see. So you only get 20 turns because the train eventually leaves. That wasn't too bad from our perspective. Okay, we're gonna go kill that elite lancer. That's fine. Nobody's in that area anyway. Okay, what will we do now? To keep using the sniper, maybe. Try to send some of them forward. Send Alicia forward to try to kill this uh, elite lancer. Kind of want to take that car and see where it goes. Because she's got the movement to spare for that. Let's do that. Cars are a really nice upgrade. Okay, where am I now relative to everywhere else? Oh, it's pretty good actually. So I want to send Largo this way, I think. Okay. That's cool though, we spotted some dudes. It's kind of her job. We know it's over there now. Oh, 20 turn limit is a default lose condition. Didn't know that. Cool. Come on. There you go. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Not gonna reach him, but may as well shoot him. I like to shoot dudes to shoot him. Send her down there one more round here. I think he moved last turn. Oh wait. Does this thing just have a better range than normal grenades? I'm sure that he's still resistant to them, right? Have her kill him and then run away on her next turn. Much better range? Okay. Cool. That makes scouts pretty useful then. Cool. Let's get out of dodge so we're not worrying about the uh, tanks down there. Cheers ammo with your grenades, okay. Makes sense. Alright, let's move Largo. Let's see if we can get him all the way onto that boat. We might can shoot that thing this turn. No, it doesn't even count as an attack. Alright. Don't think he can quite make it, but we'll try. It'd be lo lovely to get up there. <laughs> I'll probably send uh, NG forward. All right. Start disarming tank mines. All right, where are we? Just short of reaching something there, right? So let's move him one more. Well, we can just leave him here. Let the tanks move a little bit, and then he can start shooting at him. I think this tank's going to come a little bit farther forward, and then he'll have a better shot at them. Okay, um, can my sniper do anything right now? Yeah, exactly, Spiky. Hiding behind cover. Not helpful for me. Might be that she can shoot the thing on the bridge, though. I don't want to leave her up here. Okay. 
tank. Let's get moving. Then we'll send the NGs forward. ANG forward. Down we go. Treads. Not our primary intent there, but hey, getting some stuff done. No the the Don't know if I can quite get her to where the mines are, but. What are you talking about, Darkstar? I didn't shoot the train. I mean to snipe the bomb when it becomes available on the, uh, the tracks. Uh, probably just leave her there now. I guess I can move the other one forward, too. Now I know that. Okay, cool. Should be able to shoot this guy next turn. You know where he ends up. Elite scout. Fence down, grips. Ah, too bad. Could've gone really well. Underminer fire. We can deal with that. Whew. Could've gone really badly. Yeah, pretty much. Demo man slash heavy. Okay. Largo. Can you hit that tank yet? Hope so. Can't quite see. I don't think you can hit it. It's too bad. Hit the main body, though. Can chill here for next turn if it comes closer to. Raise good points. Right, send her forward. Out and then try to okay. disable some of these mines on this bridge. I think their intent is to discourage us from taking the tank down here at all. Maybe we're not even supposed to, you know. Just to rem remove it as a problem. That's all of them? That's all. Send her back now. Can you reach it from there? Please verify your yeah, fashion over function is a good way to describe it. I mean, the whole idea is that they're powered by Ragnite. That's why they're so cool, so... You get why they want to include stuff in that vein. I think my tank can get through without killing them. <laughs> I just knock them over. I think it's gonna knock Nadine over no matter what I do. Sorry, Nadine. Got places to be. Kill anything moving this way. I 
want to get that bridge tank so it's not a risk to our own radiator. Largo could shoot this one again. I kind of want to let it move forward first, though. Oh, no, I think we should just take it out. Entering combat. Our back hidden here. He might can finish it off on his next turn. Oh, hey. Thousands lined with industrial lifts. They're designed to transport heavy machinery. Like my tank. Switch and it'll take you to another level. Foot soldiers, tanks, you name it. Cool. If you look on the control panels next to the lift, you'll find the switch no problem. All right. Thanks for the tip. So the other tank's gonna have to get all the way around back to hit in here to feel safe doing this. We'll use Largo to finish off the tank here. Just watch this. Can't miss Largo. Okay, good. <laughs> I still don't believe it when I say he can't miss, knowing Largo's track record so far, you know. our tank, send uh, Nadine forward. Yeah, we'll see about Dallas. If she goes down, we'll get another ninja here. Be okay with it. Thank you. And let's see what they do. Yeah, right? It's pretty bad, Mega Man. <laughs> we'll answer accuracy. Minor damage nope. Tank decided to shoot my own tank. I can probably shoot him from across here next time. See if uh can try to have the Ada Vice do the same thing. We're switching to Earthbound Beginnings in just a couple minutes here. Want to see how the enemy turn plays out quick. No, not too much happened. Okay. Here we go. Let's shoot their tank. Four shots, huh? Let's ride the elevator. Ride the walrus. Now, which way do I want to go? I think I want to go left. Try to shoot the tank from up here. Tank sniping. Now, let me check. Do I need my tank to shoot that thing, or can Largo shoot it? Here we go. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. We'll shoot a tank in the meantime. Now. Largo can kill it on the next two turns. Anyone can shoot it. Doesn't have to be explosive, I guess, is my question. You're done. Now he's hitting. We're gonna use one more hit with Largo and then we're gonna booze up Earthbound Beginnings. Oh, Largo! You make me very unhappy, buddy. I'm gonna get one more turn of survival. All right. 
Should have saved and then shot with Largo, and then we could load next time and get the hit off, right? <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna go switch the capture card over to the Wii U for uh, the next game. We'll uh, see you with Earthbound Beginnings in three or four minutes. We go ahead and feed the cats too, so should be a little bit. Be right back.